All things are submitted to your will, O Lord. Good morning, dear friends. This is Bishop John Quinn of the Diocese of Winona, Rochester, and I welcome you to this televised liturgy. Heaven and earth and all that is contained under the vault of the sky, you are the master of the universe. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Christ eleison. Christ eleison. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who in the abundance of your kindness surpassed the merits and the desires of those who entreat you, Pour out your mercy upon us to pardon what conscience dreads and to give what prayer does not dare to ask. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Let me now sing of my friend, my friend's song concerning his vineyard. My friend had a vineyard on a fertile hillside. He spaded it, cleared it of stones, and planted the choicest vines. Within it, he built a watchtower and hewed out a wine press. Then he looked for the crop of grapes, 
but what it yielded was wild grapes. Now, inhabitants of Jerusalem and people of Judah, judge between me and my vineyard. What more was there to do for my vineyard that I had not done? Why, when I looked for the crop of grapes, did it bring forth wild grapes? Now I will let you know what I mean to do with my vineyard. Take away its hedge, give it to grazing, break through its wall, let it be trampled. Yes, I will make it a ruin. It shall not be pruned or hoed, but overgrown with thorns and briars. I will command the clouds not to send rain upon it. The vineyard of the Lord of hosts is the house of Israel, and the people of Judah are his cherished plant. He looked for judgment, but see, bloodshed. For justice, but hark, the outcry. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O Lord, you have been for us a refuge from age to age. Before the mountains were created, and before the land and the world were formed, from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. Brothers and sisters, have no anxiety at all, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, make your requests known to God. Then the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is gracious, if there is any excellence and if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Keep on doing what you have learned and received and heard and seen in me. Then the God of peace will be with you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. When Israel went out of Egypt, the house of Jacob from a barbarous nation. <coughs> Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the chief priests and the elders of the people, Hear another parable. There was a landowner who planted a vineyard, put a hedge around it, dug a wine press in it, and built a tower. Then he leased it to tenants and went on a journey. When vintage time drew near, he sent his servants to the tenants to obtain his produce. But the tenants seized the servants, and one they beat, another they killed, and a third they stoned. Again, he sent other servants, more numerous than the first ones. They treated them the same way. Finally, he sent his son to them, thinking, they will respect my son. But when the tenants saw the son, they said to one another, this is the heir. Come, let us kill him and acquire his inheritance. They seized him, threw him out of the vineyard, and killed him. What will the owner of the vineyard do to those tenants when he comes? They answered him, He will put those wretched men to a wretched death and lease his vineyard to other tenants who will give him the produce at the proper times. Jesus said to them, Did you never read in the scriptures? The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done, and it is wonderful in our eyes. Therefore I say to you, the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to a people that will produce its fruit. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
we know why Isaiah's friend, who's the Lord, we know why the Lord is mad at his vineyard. He gave his chosen people the promised land, wished to live. He blessed them abundantly, protected them from enemies, did all kinds of things for them. But the people did not recognize all of this. The people rejected the law of God and prophets' messages rejected them as well. The prophets simply taught, stop worshiping idols, stop making yourselves rich by abusing the poor. But God's vineyard produced neither justice nor love. And so the Lord gave the vineyard to the Babylonians who destroyed it. Now let's make that story a bit more personal. Lord has blessed you and me, this whole country, most generously. We live in a nation where we can practice our faith freely, where we have enormous wealth, even in today's economy. But what do we tenants, we servants, what do we produce for the Lord? Isaiah says that the Lord looked for judgment, but found bloodshed. That may have been human sacrifices at the time, our wars that God had told them to avoid. The outcry was surely the cry of the poor, cry of parents who couldn't feed or take care of their children, cry of war widows, cry of orphans. So what crop do you and I produce for the Lord? Today, when the Lord looks at our community, and it looks at our vineyard, what does the Lord find? Certainly, he finds the blood of aborted babies. The Lord also finds blood of people who have been strapped to a stretcher while the government pours poison into their veins in the names of the people. The Lord finds the blood not only of soldiers, but of thousands of civilians, women and children, killed in the name of a war that allegedly protected some greater good. The Lord finds the blood of people, especially children, who died of greed. That's not what the death certificate says. But what would you call it when 30,000 children die every day in this world out of starvation? Do you think that the Lord hears the outcry of parents and godparents as their children starve to death in their arms? St. Paul tells us, have no anxiety at all. How many times does Jesus tell us in the Gospels, do not be afraid? Why are Christians so afraid to talk about respecting life, talk about justice, talk about our obligations as tenants, as stewards in God's world, in the vineyard of the Lord? How can we go wrong if we respect life in every circumstance, call our neighbors to respect life as well? Not just life in the womb, but life in the courts, the jails, life in the hospitals, nursing homes, life on the streets of the United States, the deserts of Darfur, the cities of Iraq and Afghanistan. What do we have to fear if we give our God a rich harvest from his vineyard, a harvest of life, justice, love, and mercy? For it is then that the God of peace will be with us. I believe in one God, the Father the Almighty, Almighty, maker, maker of, of heaven and earth, earth of all, all things, things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, 
and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. For an end to violence and that all followers of Jesus may possess true freedom so they may live together in harmony and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who suffer from the illnesses of the pandemic and for all who lose hope, Jesus may bring them healing and fortitude. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood and consecrated life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the grace to forgive as we have been forgiven, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all the deceased may be delivered from the bonds of sin and rest in eternal happiness, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty and eternal God, grant us these petitions we humbly offer you today and strengthen us always with your grace so that we might live the life of your Son, Jesus, in all things, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. There was a man in the land of us whose name was Job a blameless, upright, and God-fearing man. Satan asked to be allowed to tempt him, and the Lord gave him power over his possessions and his body. And so he destroyed his possessions and his children and he ravaged his flesh with horrible sores. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands, and through the sacred mysteries which we celebrate with dutiful service, Graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for through his paschal mystery he accomplished the marvelous deed, by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being now called, a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works, for you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so, and with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise, for through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and you make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that 
from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death, you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am I not worthy, worthy that, that you, you should enter, enter under, under my, my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My soul aspires after your salvation. I hope in your word. When will you judge those who persecute me? Let us pray. Grant us, almighty God, that we may be refreshed and nourished by the sacrament which we have received, so as to be transformed into what we consume. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Now thank we all our God with heart and hands and voices, who wondrous things hath done, in whom his world rejoices. Thank you for joining us for this Sunday's televised Mass. I hope it has brought you spiritual joy and comfort this day. If this Mass has helped you or someone you know, please consider sending a donation to the address on the screen or by visiting our website at dowr.org and clicking the weekly mass icon. Thank you and God bless. And guide us when perplexed and free us from all ills in this world in the next.